What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix corrupted PSE to themes. So this works with lots of different types of theme errors. It works with themes that aren't working properly, maybe not displaying the icons correctly or the background images correctly. It works with themes that just don't work at all. And it also works with themes that are just completely corrupted. Even if you try to delete them, um, the settings will actually just freeze. Now, I don't have the, like, the worst problem, but this, I'll show you how to fix that in this video anyway so let me just give you an example if I was to go and open up settings the current theme that I'm using is not really working correctly if I scroll down and I go into theme and background and then I just press X on theme as you can see this kind of wolf theme that I've got like equipped right now it's not exactly working right now sometimes you will see themes in here that have got like completely blank icons those ones are the worst those ones basically mean they're corrupted and if you were to click on them and then go to the three dots and just tap on delete basically the settings is just going to freeze and you won't actually be able to delete it now while you're in the settings and it's frozen all you want to do is just press the home button and simply just go ahead and close it out what I'd recommend doing is opening up the settings and applying a theme that you know works this could be like a default theme or you know a theme that you've used before or something like that for this video I'm just going to use the default one now what you want to do is just close down the settings again and you want to go ahead and you want to open up the custom themes app this one is called custom themes manager and um, basically this is how you fix custom themes so if you don't have this make sure to check out the link in the description but we want to go ahead and start it up so on this page, what you guys want to do is just tap on the uninstall a custom theme section. So just tap on this, wait for it to load, and it's going to display every single theme you've got, even the ones which are corrupted. So all you want to do is find the one which is not working properly, press X on it, and then what you want to do is press square to show the commands list, and we are going to press start to completely uninstall it. So what we're going to do is we're going to press start, and this will completely uninstall the theme and delete it. Press start to continue and there you go it's going to remove it now if you like this theme and you want to get it back obviously it's not going to be on the list anymore all you want to do is go to um, the kind of like themes website and you can find a replacement or if you had it on your computer you can drop it into the custom themes folder you basically just want to browse for a new theme that you want in here now you can restart your PS Vita that might work but all you want to do from here is go up to the settings and you can now reapply your custom theme that is pretty much the easiest way to fix corrupted custom themes they can be a bit annoying and this is a very common PS Vita problem but this is literally how you fix it so that is pretty much it for this quick video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one